<laughs> man. No drugs. I don't use drugs. Any yeah. of that. Oh, the other people. A lot of my other friends used to record a lot. And I'm like, bro, you guys can do for pretty good. And then I see them. <laughs> it's, all, it's all like the, the culture of it, only. Yeah, like I, I did. I was real naive too. I didn't get it till I saw someone taking a line, and I'm like, that's why you can stay up four or five days doing this. Oh, yeah, yeah. And I was kind of like, damn, I felt cheated. But like, I guess, I, I mean, that'll always happen. But yeah, that, mm. it is what it is. I, I'll do it the clean right way in my. Like how I believe in yeah. mm. that's um sort of like the culture for for creators eh like getting yeah. into the drugs and the especially um smoking weed like it's like every hip hop every hip hop <laughs> artist smokes weed eh yeah for in, some in the studio you see it yeah, in the yeah. NWA uh, a movie mm. and all those movies they come out yeah, yeah, yeah the the Wu Tang Clan TV series they watch it yeah 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 like smoking that's weed all the time and the like, getting high and it's almost like they can't do anything without getting high. Like, how to say? Right. That's such a good topic. Um, or any type of um, addiction, whatever, that I've seen in the industry, the music mm. and acting. It is true, man. I've seen a lot of them. And for me, that's why I'm always, in, um, I always enjoy interactions with people where I know when the drugs die down or the alcohol dies down, I get, I kind of just get around them and try to talk to them. Because you, you you know who you are when you're on your own without any substance. That's when you know, like, mm. damn, man. yeah. Because I don't want to, like, I've had to teach myself and and my friends that set boundaries for me, like, hey, we love you, bro. You can't come to this certain thing. And it's it's taught me how to enjoy life without having to get high or having to get drunk. And obviously I hang with people that do do it mm. now and then if I need to go check up on them and that. But yeah, it's, it's sad when addiction... We're all we're all dealing with addictions that if you don't deal with it, it'll, it'll deal with you and it'll, it'll break you. You know what I mean? And that's why I want to free a lot of these young people before that cripples them. You know what I mean? Yeah. Mm. Yeah. I, I I couldn't do any. I I couldn't smoke weed even when I was around my mates. That did because yeah. I couldn't handle them ever. I, yeah. I couldn't handle whatever. I always fell asleep. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it was like ruin my night. Like. Yeah. You know, to start this before we go, and then I always have a have a have a puff, and then go to sleep, yeah. ruin my night. So never got used to it. So I never did it. I'm like, nah, yeah. I don't want to go to sleep. I just drink. I just <laughs> crack up at some of the guys they drink. It always starts mm. off all good, and then gee, are you? But, but, <laughs> it's like yo. But what do you think? What's up with the artist then? The any kind of artist that are into substances, because you know that what I hear is like it helps them be creative. Mm. Like bring unlock some yeah some thinking that they can write mm. and, um, but but it's not even just them it's comedians too it's any, yeah. any sort of artist eh? yeah yeah uh, even um uh, psychedelics because I know psychedelics make you hallucinate mm. and then maybe they get an idea from that they come come back yeah. out and they oh man they write yeah write something for ages and then they yeah put yeah. their art out it's almost like a tool mm. for the me yeah mm. I've I've caught up with a lot of people um like they'll ask me um like hey let's let's go to a bar or whatever club and catch up and i'll be like oh sweet i'll do it your way and i won't take a hit or drink even when they try to give me a drink i'll be just drinking red bull like acting like it's like but it's not and then it'll be cool you're right like they'll be onto it and then i'll like probably next week the week after i'll be like okay we'll do it my way we'll catch up in the afternoon let's see what you're like yeah and oh shoot yeah, yeah like, like I've done I've done a your way <laughs> okay now let's do it my way like let's see what happens mm. like, I just want to see because yeah. for me when I always interact with an artist or a person mm. I just want to know you as a person before I even get into business with you like I really I'd rather care for you as a as a friend before any anything pops off like because mm. I don't want you to always always having to be like yo gee I need a hit I need a hit like I just want to know you for you kind of thing mm. So yeah, we did a my way and it was pretty interesting. Like I just like talks like this was cool as and they always open up, be vulnerable and I'm thankful for it because it's hard for them. Yeah, I guess it's hard for all of us sometimes to talk about certain things around people. Yeah. And they kinda numb they like things I've seen and heard from people that deal with that in the in the businesses, they're just numbing a lot of pain. Mm. Yeah. So there's like the fruit of it, but they never address the root of what actually happened. So if mm. it's unforgiveness or their dad left him or whatever. And it's cool hearing that when I'm like, damn. 
Yeah. That, for me, that's an inspiring thing when, you know, get the book and I'm like, oh, good idea. Like, mm. yeah, so it's pretty cool. What do you think is the common thing with artists these days? Like, well, from what you've seen? Because, you know, being a creative, mm. it's something that you got to be outside the box yeah. doing, eh? Like, you can't think like other people. You can't really, hey, you can't really think like how other people think. Yeah. Um, well, well, obviously, whatever, whatever genre or or, or media you choose, you got to be in line with whatever that genre is. Mm. But then to create n- a new idea is is hard, eh? Because yeah. you got to be unique. Yeah. And it's hard to be unique if there's a lot of influences around. So, I guess like being those creators that are who are successful that can get outside the box and do something real original. Yeah. Like they must have something in common, eh? Like <laughs> Yeah. Like they like the ones you, you hear or see, and especially the ones in America, like Yeah. That's all like weird, eh? Weird people. It's sort of weird, eh? Because you probably, it seems yeah. to me you have to be weird. You got you gotta be in that kind of mentality mm. like like uh, out the gate kind of mentality to do some out the gate stuff, eh? Yeah. Um that's a mean question, bro. Like what they have in common. I think what a lot of artists have in common nowadays. Are you talking good or bad, or just or anything? Like, like well, whatever makes them bring out all the content the way they do. Yeah, I, I I definitely agree with you, bro. On that, I I think what they have in common is structure. So they always think if it's done one way, if one person got successful, I have to do it that way. Like I have to be weird, and I gotta like do all that just to be like seen and known. But now nah, for me, it's like nah, man, like. That's why I love developing artists from the old days, the what the guys I mentioned back then. Like they developed into what they were. Mm. They didn't have to put on a front to be who they were. They just the who they were who they were. Like that that was it. And yeah, that was the cool thing about it. But I mm. think nowadays, yeah, just seeing and being around it. Yeah, um, how do I say? Like of social media is makes a big yeah, and it's. It's the, it's the look, it's the sound. It's just, I honestly think some of it's all of, all, all of facade sometimes. Mm. Yeah. And that's the sad thing for me because, like, I'll know, I'll know a certain famous person or whatever. I'll know, the, I'll know them in front of the camera and then, but I actually know who they are behind. And they're real down and real um, insecure and stuff. And I'm like, yo, mm. it's okay, easy. Like, you, you, you can save someone by being yourself. You don't need to, like, <clears throat> hold back on it. Like, don't sell out just to don't compromise who you are mm. you're not gonna last long like your foundation has to be strong G. yeah man one person that came to mind right now was um six nine. Oh yeah i mean when that guy blew up with his, his look yeah yeah he got exposed and then i thought like okay yeah. wow, this guy do people just like him because of his look Cause to be honest i didn't like his music yeah it was kind of weird it's not really my my thing yeah and then all the all the new stuff he's getting to like Oh come on, man! It's like yeah. that's not like the real. Hey, it's, mm. like, it's a character. Hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's um, a character. That's in the industry. The it's like giving a bag of money to a little kid, and then go do what you want. Like, and they mm. don't really care for you as a person. Like, and they want you to act as a character because that's what brings them views, and mm. that's what the industry is. I kind of seen it and kind of studied a bit from a distance and I'm like okay this is good for me but there's certain parts where I don't want I don't want someone controlling me no like yeah that's Mm. why the way I release it is different it's like no one no one's trying to tell me try act like this for the camera and so everyone can watch and Mm. like nah man like (laughs) I know who I am I'm I'm good to you like because that's probably another reason why you do um doing everything you're doing underground and just rejecting everything because you want to be you want to figure out a way to control your own content yeah uh, without any you know influence with you know people trying to make money off you yeah yeah in a way where they just export you away yeah yeah